Coming up next, we got a comedian by the name of Domingo Salazar. Give it up. My name's Domingo, I'm a PC. Um, I have a type of um, computer is basically because I don't know how to work them. I just learned how to dial um, outside my office by pushing nine and then one, and then calling my house to get picked up because I don't have a car. I still live with my parents. Uh, they don't seem to mind, they don't charge me rent. I leech their internet, they don't let me use it, so my brother showed me how to use a Wi-Fi connection to just uh, steal it by typing in the password he came up with. And now I can do a whole bunch of amazing things that I learned here at the Expo for the first time. Um, one of the first things I learned how to, you know, about was hentai. I had no idea what that was. Someone told me, hey, buddy, you like hentai? And I was like, oh, yeah, man. You like hen shirt? <laughs> and then I realized, you know, he's like, no, man, this is like animated porn on the internet. And I was like, well, hold the phone. There's porn on the internet? <laughs> And then, second of all, it's animated? So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to give this a look, see? For scientific purposes, of course. And I looked over, I went over to someone, just typed it in, and tie. Again, I spelled it incorrectly. Incorrectly, it's T I E. That's all right. um, so it corrected me. Google, that bastard, is always trying to correct me. It's like, I type in something and it's like, did you mean hen shirt? No, no, I meant hen tie. It's like, Fixing things that aren't really wrong with what I'm saying. Anyway, hentai comes up, and I'm looking through it, and they're just things that are just wrong, in a sense. Just things like, they're like horses, and like animated ones, and they have two penises, they suffer from a case of bipenalism or something. And like, I, I, I just couldn't get my head around it, you know, you know, mentally. I just couldn't absorb what was going on. So I just got off of it, and I left my grandma's. Um, <laughs> Afterwards, you know, I decided to come here. I, you know, I've never been to an anime expo before. This one's my first. And, um, yeah, I liked it a lot. I really did. I saw a lot of things, you know, I, I love how the guys are all dressed up in, like, Cloud, and they're dressed up like Naruto, and the group their girlfriends are dressed up as supportive girlfriends, you know? <laughs> they're not really willing to go the whole way, like, oh, hey, sweetheart, I'll come with you to the anime thingy, but I'm not gonna dress up. I can barely be seen with you right now. <laughs> And so, you know, that's like, not my, not my jazz, I'm very familiar with, but I do love Pokemon. That's like my favorite thing in the world. I love Pokemon, you know, I like, you know, my sister started playing and she picked it up and I started playing with her again because she started, like, liking it, the new one for the DS. I was like, you know, back in my day, there were only 151 Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, there's so many of them, it's like up to 500 now, I can't wrap my head around it. But you know, I studied hard, I went to the Pokemon school that they have there online, and I learned everything. Snowdown University, they taught me everything I know. Very, very prestigious internet community, yeah, yeah. That I learned how to play on. Um, but most what I love about Pokemon is naming them. I love naming Pokemon, it's the most fun thing ever. Like, I'll name them like old Greek names, like my nine tails, Prometheus, Caveman, Fire. And um, other things, you know, I named a Geodude I had once, Terrorist. So that, uh, yeah, I, I just, I just wanted to do it because I knew at level, you know, they, they learned self-destruct and I wanted to say And um, you know, the obvious one, I'm sure all of you have done it, you know, Kakuna, I, I, I named it Penis. Uh, so, you know, it says Penis Used Harden. Yes. I, I named a, I named a Chansey I got um, your mother, so for all your mother fans out there. I remember I took it to the daycare lady, and it was there, you know, leveling up after a couple turns, and it said, okay, if you want your mother back, you're going to pay 500 Pokemon. I'm like, I'm, I'm not paying 500 Pokemon to get my mother back. And everyone especially loved bacon. That was great. I, I've never seen a better reaction for bacon my whole life, you know? So, I mean, I told my parents I was going to become vegetarian once, and my mom was like, are you sure you're not gay? Like, I, I think they'd rather hear that. It's kind of hard coming from where I live. You know, I'm a Catholic. You know, I, I get, I'm kind of getting a lot of rap for being one, but, uh, you know, I, I understand why, you, you know, 
some Catholics are supposedly against things like homosexuality and stuff, but you know, I can tell you this much. If two homosexual men have sex, um, neither of them are getting pregnant. So if neither of them get pregnant, I'm guessing there's not gonna be abortion or anything like that. You know, everyone's gotta be thankful for that, right? Am I right? Alright, cool. That's all for now. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, one more thing. Um, if you're driving home and you follow a white SUV, um, don't do what I did. I followed it. Assuming it's doing the right way, it turned into Megatron and kicked me up, drove me off the freeway. So um, thanks for listening and have a good night, guys. Here we go, everybody. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, come on up on stage. Don't you get down from that stage? What? All right. Gee, what'd you think about this guy? Yeah, Q, what's the word? I like your song style of comedy. At first, I was afraid because you, you, you went a few seconds out of your laps, but then you just come, you just kept coming with it. And yeah, Bacon is awesome. You should know that by now. <laughs> Jill, tell me about it. Be truthful. Bacon? Where? Bacon. Eat a sandwich. Sure, you love comedy. Here we go. Give it up, one Give it up, guys. Give it up.